Hey guys, Renee here. Um, I have been playing a lot of Pokemon White 2 recently. Like a lot, probably too much. Like when I'm not working or sleeping, I'm playing the game. Um, <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. I like to like take it slow and experience everything, but um, I thought it might be kind of fun to do like a let's play of the game. So I started a new one um, separately, of course, from the one I had going. I didn't want to disrupt that one. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a video like this. Obviously, I have never done anything like this before, so I'm bound to do something stupid or say something stupid. <laughs> So bear with me, um, but let's uh, let's play Pokemon White too, um, because yeah. And I'm probably gonna do a lot of um, skipping, not skipping, but just going fast, especially for this first part um, when people are talking, because otherwise the beginning will take forever. You know, they have to set you up, tell you about Pokemon and how to catch them and how to use the Poke Center and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna try and make this part not longer than it needs to be. <laughs> so Jennifer is telling us about the bond between people and Pokemon. Alright. She's looking right at me. But she has no idea if I'm a boy or a girl. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, my name is Renee. What a wonderful name. The older boy who lives here. Alright, so they... They give you Hugh. I'm just gonna keep Hugh because I'm not creative. I don't know. <laughs> Yay! You friend new people in Pokemon. Okay. So, of course, like every other Pokemon game in existence. We're going to be given a Pokemon and a Pokedex and told to go explore and find as many Pokemon as we can. Light version 2. I really actually like the music a lot in this game. Um, I'm playing with headphones on, so the music's like really in my ears. And <laughs> so I'll probably end up humming a lot during the song because or during the game because the songs are always so catchy. <laughs> At first, I thought that was me, <laughs> and I was like, I can't play this game if I'm gonna look like that. <laughs> but it's my mom! Aria Juniper. I don't know if I actually ever knew Professor Juniper's name. Alright, so Juniper's telling my mom that she wants to give me a Pokedex. And a Pokemon. Big green hat, got it. So we have to look for Bianca, who I'm sure we all remember from Pokemon Black and White. Although I will say, she's nothing like she was in those games, in this game, thankfully. Oh, hey mom, what's up? Didn't we just talk to Juniper? Like, I don't know. It's kind of bizarre, but whatever. 
No, I don't want to bother. <laughs> I'll just ask you again until you change your mind. <laughs> yes, I know what a Pokedex is. It's really amazing. Why, yes, I want one. Your course of action has been set. Alright, so we are gonna go meet Bianca. And she'll, she's gonna give me a Pokemon just because. Do you know how to open your bag? What if someone, like, it's so funny to think of this, this dialogue as, like, real life conversation. <laughs> like, what if somebody was just like, you know how to open your bag, right? Find Bianca. Oh, hi Renee. You get a Pokemon yet? So I guess Hugh just has a Pokemon already. We don't really know why or anything. Take really, really good care of it, okay? Will do. So he was just gonna invite himself, I guess, to come with us. Okay, big brother. I don't think we ever learn her name. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, I guess you can come with. Like, sure. You're following me anyway, so... Big green hat. I doubt she's in the gym or the poker center. City outlook ahead. Oh, I get it. The outlook is as pretty as most famous. Spot. <laughs> Come on, go get your Pokemon already. I like how he's telling me, like, go get your Pokemon already. But he's the one holding me up. <laughs> well, I found the big green hat. Yep, we found Bianca. <laughs> I just so happen to know someone named Renee. Oh, wait, that's me. You're exactly like what I heard. <laughs> sure. I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> well, give me a Pokemon then. <laughs> <clears throat> Pretty high tech there. Alright, I'm gonna go Tepig because everybody knows I hate Oshawa, and even though Snivy is probably my favorite basic starter from this generation, not of them all, um, Embor is way better than Superior, I think. So I'm not really a big nickname person, um, I don't know, I just never really have been. So I'm probably not gonna nickname my Pokemon unless, like, I think of something super clever <laughs> or something, or like if you guys give me a suggestion that I really like. But uh, yeah, I'm not really a nicknaming Pokemon kind of person. Our, our Pokemon and our Pokedex. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, they're gonna keep me waiting. You know, you weren't really invited to this party anyway, Hugh, so. I don't know what your problem is.
It's a Pokedex. Oh, he's gonna be jealous. Please give me a Pokedex too. She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Who are you? To search for something very important. He's so cryptic. She's like, alright, fine. I just happen to have another Pokedex. How convenient is that? Alright. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's see how good a trainer you are. Alright, so now we know he's had a Pokemon since it was an egg, but apparently I don't get Pokemon unless someone just shuts up at my door and says, here, have one. This is gonna be really boring when it comes to like grinding a Pokemon for higher levels. I'm not sure what to do when it gets to that point. Cause I don't wanna like upload a video of me just like battling over and over and over again. <laughs> so you guys are gonna have to tell me what to do because I don't think it'll be very entertaining. Woohoo, I beat you! That's right. You've had your Pokemon since it was an egg, and I just met my Pokemon, and I still beat you. Oh boy. I won't let myself forget this frustration. He's so hard on himself. It's okay, buddy. Loosen up a little. This is different than battling wild Pokemon. Okay, bye. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's like the best place ever. Alright, so I think this is where she's gonna teach me how to do things in the game and it's gonna be really boring, so I'm gonna try and do it quickly. Yeah, she's gonna show me how to use the focus center and everything. Which makes me wonder, like, how many people pick up Pokemon White 2 for the first time and it's like the first Pokemon game they've ever played? Like, how many people actually need instructions by the time they play Pokemon White or Black 2? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. How many people start off with this game? Like, you know? I don't know. It's weird. Because for someone my age, like, I've been growing up with Pokemon, I've been playing them since they very first came out. The square thing is a PC, good to know. Um, but yeah, I wonder how many people, like, actually need these instructions by the time they play this game. This is the Pokemart. tells me I can buy them here and then just gives me some instead. <laughs> but hey, I'm not complaining. I'll take free stuff any day of the week. Yep, now she's gonna show me how to catch Pokemon. hilarious. I'll read the instructions to you. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. 
Oh god. She still doesn't have a name, she's just Hugh's sister. <laughs> Got the town map. Alright, so I have to give a town map to Hugh then. Bon voyage! Peace out, homies. Oh! You can't go without... Oh. That's right, I have a Pokemon now. I feel like everybody in this game is just so generous. <laughs> like, people are giving you things left and right all the time. Way more than usual, I feel like. Which is fine with me. Like I said, I'll take, I'll take free stuff any day of the week, but... <laughs> I don't know if I remember any other games being that giving. how Pokedex works. <laughs> Starting now. And now we get to watch Bianca battle. Which is kind of silly because we just battled Hugh, so we know how to battle. Is that all? You couldn't have just told me that? <laughs> Yay! Good job. All right. So now we know how to battle and catch Pokemon. Can we please go on our own? What a relief. I'll go over the important stuff. Find a healthy Pokemon. You just showed me this. Why are you repeating it? Lower the HP. Put it to sleep. Paralyze it. Blah blah blah. Yes. I'm going to deliver the attack to Hugh. Okay, continue straight this way to get to Flockacy Town, I think is maybe how it's pronounced. Flockacy. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Thanks, Bianca. Alright, so let's make our way. Oops. Let's make our way towards Flockacy. Give me that. And once we get to Flockacy, we'll uh, probably end this part because... Oh, who's talking to me? Oh, Alder! Interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk toward the future together with Pokemon. Kind of forgot about him. He says it like he- he's like checking me out! Look at that, he just walked around me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, I think I'll actually stop here. I don't want to get too involved with um, Alder and make this part way too long. That sounded horrible. Uh, <laughs> be too involved. Um, so I will end it here, and then in part two, we'll have to figure out, you know, what we're gonna do with Alder, we're gonna go train with him, whatever, get to Flockacy Town. Um, but I'm gonna end this part here. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, this is my first time ever doing something like this, so uh, bear with me. 
please leave feedback in the comments. You know, let me know what you think, good or bad. Give me suggestions, um, whatever. So that for the next part, I kind of know if I should go about this differently or whatever. Um, but that's it for this first part. We got past all the boring mumbo jumbo. And um, yeah, we're going to get, you know, more into the story next time. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it.